When T14 Armata was first revealed to the public, it was almost immediately known that there are plans to upgrade to the new 152mm 2A83 gun. But as the time went on, it became apparent that even if it was the case, it's not going to happen anytime soon, since the tank is not yet even in the active service. Today we are going to talk about the actual gun T14 was supposed to get, why it didn't get it and what are the plans for the future. But before we start, a quick word from my sponsor, War Thunder. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. War Thunder is a military vehicle combat online game. It is free to play on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Not to mention that it is cross-platform between PC and consoles. The game features an incredible arsenal of more than 1500 historically accurate playable tanks, aircraft, helicopters and ships from 1930s to 1990s. Best thing about the game are its realistic physics and one of the most detailed and most immersive vehicle damage models in gaming. If you use my link to register, you will receive a bonus, a premium vehicle, tank, aircraft or ship, as well as 3-day account boost. The game is completely free, so you can start playing immediately. The gun was developed in the late 80s and was first used on a Soviet Object 195 prototype. It was a further development of 2A73 152mm gun from the 70s that was installed on a couple of older prototypes like Object 477 Mallet. During the trials the 2A83 gun gave excellent results and was planned to be mass produced for the next main battle tank of the Soviet Union. But because Soviet Union fell apart, so did the projects for the new tanks. But 2A83 was not yet abandoned, nor was the Object 195, that was, at that time, planned to be in production around the year 2010. However, the project was too expensive, primarily for the logistics reasons, so the 152mm gun was out of the question for that time. The focus was shifted to the new gun, that was at first developed for upgrading already existing tanks with a better 125mm gun. That gun is 2A82. But instead of being installed on older tanks, it has been installed on T-14 Armata, which is a direct continuation of Object 195 project. Many media articles were saying how T-90M will get 2A82 gun and how T-14 can easily be upgraded with a 152mm gun. But those things are far from the truth. In reality, T-90M got a slight improvement to an already existing 2A46 M5 gun and for T14 to actually be able to have the 152mm gun, it would need to go through massive modifications, such as replacing the entire turret, outloader, carousel, etc. The problem is that 2A83 is just way too different to 2A82, to be just simply replaced. One of the reasons being is that 2A83 is almost two times heavier, being 5000 kg in weight, while 2A82 weights 2700 kg. It is possible that if T14 ever received the 152mm gun, it would look something like Object 195, since their hulls are comparable, but Object 195 had much bigger turret to accommodate the bigger gun. The penetration difference of APF SDS is not significant enough to replace the gun. During trials, the APF SDS fired from 2A83 achieved 520mm on 60 degrees, while APF SDS fired from 2A82 achieved 450mm on 60 degrees, both at 2km range. The penetration difference when hitting the flat surface would be over 100mm, which is not insignificant, but the penetration of 2A82 past APF SDS is enough for now. Another advantage of 2A83 is that the projectiles are being fired with almost twice higher energy. 25 megajoules compared to around 15 megajoules of 2A82 gun, and with higher muzzle velocity of 1980 meters per second, which is faster than any other APF SDS projectile. It is not just that APF SDS projectiles are better, other projectiles like ATGMs are also superior, because of the caliber. The ATGM is superior. 152mm is the caliber of Cornet EM, which is considered one of the best ATGMs in the world. And for ATGMs, the larger the caliber, the better is the performance. Therefore, a 152mm ATGM would perform much better than a 125mm ATGM. And the information about 152mm gun-launched ATGM really shows that, 
it has 1400 millimeters of penetration and up to 20 kilometers of range, which is much better compared to 125 millimeters of Invar M with 950 millimeters of penetration and 5 kilometers range. Yet another thing that makes the 83 superior is the autoloader. The rate of fire would be around 15 rounds per minute compared to 282's 12 rounds per minute. This is probably another reason why mounting the 152mm gun would have been more expensive. Faster autoloader probably means it takes more room and is more expensive. However, there is one thing where 282 is superior compared to 283, and that is the amount of rounds carried in the tank. The carousel of the autoloader has more room for projectiles, meaning the tank can pack some extra ammunition. But if some extra storage was made to carry more projectiles, then it wouldn't be an issue. As I mentioned before, the main reason for installation of 2A82 gun on T14 are the logistics. Reason being that 2A82 can use all types of older 125mm projectiles that were used by other Russian tanks, so there is no need to produce all types of new projectiles that would be required for the higher caliber gun. But even so, it will give higher penetration with APFSDS projectiles, since the barrel is 56 calibers long, compared to older 48 calibers on other Russian tanks meaning that APFSDS projectiles will have higher muzzle velocity, and with it, the higher penetration. But all other projectiles have pretty much the same performance, maybe slight increase in effective range and accuracy, which is still an advantage over older guns, but nevertheless, the 2A83 would be a better option. The 2A82 can also sustain way higher inboard pressure than older 125mm Russian guns, thus it can fire way stronger projectiles one being the new vacuum apf SES projectile, but unfortunately, there is not much information about that round yet. The information about its penetration varies from 800 to 1000 mm at 2 km, depending on the source, so no conclusion can be made other than it is superior to other 125 mm apf SES projectiles. Ural Vagon Zavod, the guys that developed and are producing T14, stated that the plans for installation of 122mm gun are still there, but they admitted that they cannot install it on T14 Armata. But they will need to develop a new tank on Armata platform in order to fit all the required modules. They haven't disclosed any information about the required time for the development of the new vehicle or anything like that, so we don't know what to expect, or rather, when to expect it. Nevertheless, 2A82, the gun that T14 uses, is good enough for modern warfare. Of course, 152mm gun would really be a good addition, especially since Germany is planning to install 130mm gun on their new MBTs, and it is only a matter of time until other NATO countries follow along. Don't forget to check out War Thunder, where you can take control of many land, air or naval vehicles. Use the link from the description to get a premium vehicle and a 3-day account boost when you register. Remember, the game is completely free for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Just download and play. That would be all. If you like my content, you can consider supporting me on Patreon. If you can't, leave a like on the video or subscribe if you are new. It also helps a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.